Jane, what step are we on now? Strategize. All right, now let's take a look. What do we need to read? What are we reading? Read the email. Very good. So we're reading an email. So Isaac, can you tell us what is the first step in reading this email? Determine the purpose of the email by reading the email subject and opening paragraph. Okay. Jane, can you read the subject of the email for us? Guest speaker. Very good. And the opening paragraph, what is the writer asking, Isaac? Um, I think to invite a guest speaker. Very good. So if we look here, the subject says guest speaker and they want to invite someone. All right. Let's look at step two. Jane, can you? Read for me. In each of the three distinct question paragraphs, identify main question, follow-up question. All right, so we're going to be looking at the three paragraphs. And what is the first thing we want to identify, Jane? The main question. OK, can you take a look here and tell me what is the main question in the second paragraph? Should we invite a speaker who specializes in business and technology or one who specializes in art and entertainment? Very good. So in that question, they're asking you to make a choice. What is the choice, Jane? Uh, business and technology or art and entertainment. Very good. So that is our main question. OK. And Isaac, what is the follow-up question? Um, why? Good. Isaac, what does that mean if they ask why? What do they want you to do? They want a reason. Good. So the follow-up question is why? Isaac, what are we going to do now? We're going to write a reply. All right. And what is the first step, Isaac? We need to? Uh, opening greeting. Very good. And when we do our opening greeting, Isaac, what's the first thing we should do? Use the same greeting as the original email. Okay, so let's look down at the original email. If you look here, what was the original greeting, Jane? Dear. Dear, very good. What is the second step we need to do in our greeting, Jane? Add the name of the person who sent it and a comma. Very good, so let's take a look. We're gonna use the same, right, opening, dear, and who sent us the email, Jane? Nora. Good, and after the name, what do you need to add? Comment. Very good. Okay, guys. Great job. So, what step are we on, Isaac? Uh, step two, opening paragraph. Very good. So, we're going to do our opening paragraph, and we need two things. Jane, what are the two things we need? We need an opening phrase and followed by the purpose. Of Very the good. Okay. So, here we have some examples of opening phrases that you can use. Okay. So, let's take a look down. And we have, dear Nora, what opening phrase, okay, would you use, Jane? What opening phrase would you like to use? Mm, I would use, I'll do my best to help you. All right, I'll do my best to help you. And what was the purpose, Isaac, of the email? Why was Nora asking us? Uh, to invite a guest speaker. Very good. So let's take a look, guys, okay? Can you tell me what was their opening phrase, Jane? I'd love to help you. Okay, and what is the purpose? Invite a guest speaker. All right, so I want you guys to go to dual screen and see if you had an opening phrase and the purpose. Okay. Jane, did you have an opening phrase? <laughs> That's okay. How about the purpose? Were you, did you answer the question? Yes. What did you say? I said, I will help you. Oh, wait, no. I said, help with inviting speaker. Okay, very good. All right. So, guys, step three, Isaac, what will we be doing? Answering the paragraphs. Good. So, when we answer the paragraph, what is the first thing we need, Jane? A uh, listening transition. And, Isaac, the second thing? A lead in. And the third thing, Jane? Your answer to the main question. Okay. What word do we need next, Be Isaac? Because. Okay. And lastly, Jane, how do we end it? Support for your answer to the main question. Okay. So here are some listing transition words and lead ins you can use. So let's take a look here and see which ones they use. So once again, Jane, what is the first thing that they need? We need a listing transition. Good. Do we have one? Yes. What is it? First. Good. Second thing, Isaac, what do we need? A lead in. And what did they use? They use 
I suggest. Okay, and then Jane, what do they have to do? Answer the main question. And did they answer the question? Yes. What was their answer? They are going to invite a speaker who specializes in business and technology. Good. And then we use what word to connect, because. Isaac? All right. And what do you have to do after the because, Jane? We need to support our answer to the main question. Okay. How have they supported their answer? They said these subjects are more relevant to the future careers of most students. All right. Great job, guys. So after we do the first question, we're going to repeat it for all the other paragraphs, okay.